it's Liz from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me for another Simple Stamping Saturday. And today we are going to be nuts about squirrels. For those of you who don't know me, I am a UK-based independent stamping up demonstrator and I love doing what I do. Anyway, so nuts about squirrels. This is the card that we are going to make. I'm going to change it up a little bit, but not very much. This is the stamp set. So it's a two-step stamp set. So you've got the squirrels, two of them. Then you've got the infill and various bits that you can add on uh, with, hope you're feeling bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Hey there nuts about you and happy birthday as the sentiments so really good sentiments for all sorts of occasions which for me that's really what i need in a stamp set is one that will cover all occasions this is in the current mini so let me just find that page for you uh, if you don't have a mini catalogue and you're in the UK, do let me know and I can pop one in the post to you. And of course, at the moment, it is celebration. So for every £45 or €60 Euros you spend, you get free stuff, which is even better. Um, and I do sell both in the UK and across Europe. So let me find nuts about squirrels. There we are, page 49. So there nuts about squirrels it's just so cute and it's only 16 pounds or 21 euros so it's a really good value set okay i am as i say going to change it up very slightly i'm going to start as always with a note card and envelope and i've got an acorn stamped on the envelope it does have the um the gap for where the little paw would be but Unless you know that's where what's meant to be there, I don't think you'd register it. Don't need that. So, basic white note card, basic white envelope. They come in a pack. It's brilliant. And I am going to start. Ooh, actually, I'm going to change that a wee bit. So, I used cinnamon cider for my originals. In the UK, we don't really do red squirrels, which is kind of what I was looking at with this colour. There are a very few in Scotland, but the um, the grey squirrel has kind of taken over. So I thought I would do one in grey, and I'm going to use grey granite because it's not it's it's a bit of a warmer grey, and I think for a squirrel is probably nearer the mark. So I'm going to start with basic grey for the outline, which a little bit of fluff. Um, check that I'm on camera, which I am. So I'm going to go about there. And hold it in place for a little while. And while that's doing its thing, I can... Oh, actually, no, I need it. I need it. I won't close it. But there's our basic grey. And I am just going to stamp the nuts about you in the same basic grey. And that's going to go just there. So nuts about you. Now I can put away my basic grey because I don't need it anymore. Grey granite, really nice, soft, uh, warm grey. Your stamps, the photopolymer stamps, when they're made, have a bit of a finish put into the mould. Um, so do make sure that you have prepared your stamp before you actually, particularly a solid stamp like this, before you try and stamp with it. I find just wiping it with your hand works, using a white eraser just to make sure that the surface is clear works. Cleaning it a couple of times also works. So for two step stamping, all you need to do is ink up your second stamp and just find a couple of points to line up. I'm gonna line up with the feet and the ears. I will look at where the tail is, but that is not my main um, view. And then just stamp down. And there we have a nice grey squirrel. But it is that nice soft grey. That's all we need the grey granite for. So if you're doing a grey granite squirrel, you will need more ink pads. Uh, because we do still need to be able to do acorns and branches and things. 
If you do a red squirrel, you only need three ink pads. Right, so the branch. Make sure you can find the score line, which is just there. And stamp the branch in soft suede. <clears throat> and I'm going to just bring in a scrap because we will need to do some stamping off. So while we have got soft suede out, the top of the acorn I'm going to stamp in soft suede but stamped off. So again, look through the photopolymer stamp to see where you want to add your image. And there it is in a nice soft colour. That is all I need soft suede for, so that can go away. Then I'm going to do the leaves next, which I'm doing in Old Olive. And I'm just going to ink up the veins first, and then add that to the end of my branch. And because you can see through the block and the stamp, you can actually get pretty accurate with your stamping and then the solid leaf for the leaves and again stamped off and line up and do the same again and it doesn't matter if you don't stamp off evenly so here I didn't stamp off evenly but it's a leaf it's going to have texture so that is all my old olive dealt with so that can go away, which just leaves my cinnamon cider, which for this version will just be the acorn. And of course, I just remembered I will need this off to wait again. So ink up your acorn in cinnamon cider, stamp off and just pop that into the nut. And I'm lining up the, the pour and the point of the um, acorn and there is meant to be this little highlight so don't worry about that. So that's the outside of the card dealt with. The inside of the card I'm going to stamp the hope you're feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed and actually I'm going to go for soft suede and then we've just got to decorate the let's find that that's where the crease is. Then I've just got to decorate the envelope and this version is done. So for the envelope I'm going to do exactly the same as before uh, with the acorn but I am going to stamp in full strength. So soft suede and don't need that cinnamon cider now if you've got a blender brush or the cinnamon cider um, stamp and write marker you can if you're worried about that showing just color it in and no one would ever know so there we go that is our simple version so all I need to do now clear the decks a bit and fold it in half. So just fold it over, grab my bone folder. I know I say it every time, bone folder is a vital piece of kit. And there we have our lovely grey squirrel with the acorn on the envelope. And there is the red squirrel, again, with the acorn on the envelope. I didn't colour that one in, so you can see the difference between the solid and the not-so-solid version. But you want to see what I've done with it to step it up. So that's my start point. Here is my first one. So I've added crumb cake, and good grief, I've even stamped on the inside. So I've taken the other image, and I've said, hope you're feeling bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Bright-eyed? bushy tailed so literally just split the image over the two sides um, cinnamon cider cardstock some of the lovely cork paper which is cork um, and then just layered up with a piece of basic white so otherwise this is exactly the same so that's that version and then this is the more stepped up version where rather than just cutting a strip of the cork 
I've used the scallop edge from the hand from the penned flowers dies, which is whoop, this one here. So always remember that you've got often other dies in with your die die sets. So that's the scallop, and then I've used the stitched rectangles for the rectangles, and again popped up on dimensionals and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed on the inside. So there you are. That is this week's Simple Stamping Saturday. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I really love this stamp set. It's just cuteness personified. You can use it for children, you can use it for adults. It's just a great little set and I already know who I'm going to send this one to and it's a demonstrator friend of mine who I've not been in contact for a while because of the pandemic and I'm going to send her a card um, just wishing her the best and telling her that I'm thinking of her. So, and we are both nuts, by the way. If she's watching this, she's going to know who, that it's coming to her. So, mm, better get it in the post so that it arrives certainly by, if not before, Saturday. Um, right, thank you very much indeed. If you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Do remember that celebration is the time to get free stuff, whether you shop, £45, €60 Euros on multiples thereof, or join and you can get a free bundle from a selection of 12 from the mini catalogue. Um, add that into your starter kit so you can get amazing value. One of those bundles is worth over £55, over €72. Euros. So it's a huge saving on top of the already amazing saving. Thank you very much indeed. Have a fantastic weekend and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye!